Hello you lovely people. It's Tuesday. I'm on my own, which means it's my turn to review a game. This isn't a game you actually install, it's a web-based application. Um, it's for Quest only and most importantly it's free. So it is um, Tower Max VR. We were looking at Mixed Bag Workout but when we got on there we found out there's a load more games on there so that was even more exciting and more stuff for me to play with. On there, there's Mixed Bag Workout naturally, there's Tower Workout, there's X Arcade Fighter Workout, there's a Reflex Workout. I'll start off with the Mixed Bag Workout as that's the one I initially started playing. So on there, pretty much like some of the other ones that you may have seen from my previous videos like Punch Pad Workout. You are punching the bag in the order of the colours as they appear. You have to use one hand to hit one colour. At the same time you're dodging the beams and dodging the fists that come out of the bag or through the bag. Overall, quite a lot of fun. Good little workout. A um, bit frustrating at times because you can't actually see the fist coming through the bag. But move faster you'll get you'll dodge them or block them the tower max workout is pretty much almost like a beat saber meets box vr kind of thing so targets are coming towards you at the same time as targets appear in front of you you have to hit them in the order as they appear and again dodging the beams dodging the fists you can block and parry there's a thing what's interesting about this one is there's a little treadmill on your feet so in between you can jog Keep that heart rate up and, and keep going. It's good little added extra, I like that. X Arcade Fighter, I thought was absolutely bloody genius. You are fighting, you're moving backwards and forwards as your little characters, like a side scrolling, Street Fighter, Double Dragon, Golden Axe, for those of you old enough to remember it, style game. And as you're punching, your character's punching, jumping, ducking. Your character can kick. I only made it do one kick, I don't even know how I did it. And I cut the instructions, you can do some sort of Hadouken. So you'll probably see a lot of the video of me trying to do it, but nothing ever happened. So someone please tell me how you do that. There's a drill track, which was interesting, especially when you've got a limited play space like we do. So you running backwards and forwards, sometimes you can run, get a question, run back with the answer. You can do a slalom style dodging, you can catch a giant skittle it's, I can see why but for that one you definitely need a bit of room to do it it's not the sort of thing I could have played in the garden with the torrential rain we've been having recently little will probably moan at me for ruining the headset and last but not least is the reactions one so pretty much like the mixed bag workout things appear hit them as fast as you can it's not as fun as bit slap but it's fun for those that you've seen our videos before you know we like to stick to the five criterias so firstly, did it get my heart rate over 120 BPM? Yes, it did in that Tower Max workout. That one definitely did. I couldn't do the relay running, so that kind of a distraction. The reactions as well slowed me down. But that and the mixed bag workout definitely got my heart rate up. Is the longevity to this game? I'm gonna go, some of the games yes, some of the games no. Um, like I said, the tower, the, the tower work, I could probably play that quite a few times. Same with the mixed bag, but I couldn't do the reactions and the drill test over and over again. The arcade fighter, I'd just go for something silly to play if I were bored. Uh, was there any DOMs? So, for those of you who don't know what DOMs are, so was I aching the next day to simplify it? No, not really. It was no more or less intense than some of the other ones that I've done. Not like it was making me do something like excessive squats or side bends or anything like that. So no, no doms on that one. Was it fun? Was there a fun factor to it? Absolutely. I was giggling to myself loads while I was playing things like the X Fighter and when the fists were coming through and I wasn't managing to block them. So I quite enjoyed that and used it as more of a challenge. So I think there's definitely a fun factor to it. And lastly, price it's free so what more can you want a free web-based game that you can just log on and play 
brilliant ideas. Graphics are limited, but what do you expect? Other than that, it's fun. Give it a go. Overall, as I've alluded to, as, we've been, as I've been gibbering away at you, it's definitely worth a try. It's something I'll probably go back to again. I've enjoyed it a lot more than some of the actual fitness-focused games. Like I said, it's free. What have we got to lose? So, that's me for now. Um, little next week. And until then, take care.